morning here at South by Southwest in Austin. Watch is holding down the studios in D.C. Now, we've all seen sophisticated holographic technology that can bring artists and musicians back from the dead to seemingly interact with the living. So we thought, if it works for Tupac, could it work for our dearly deceased grandmothers? We set out to find out. Holographic technology is blurring the lines between reality and virtual reality with immersive experiences like interacting in a basketball game with NBA superstars. So if you can play with Carmelo Anthony, what about bringing someone back to life for an interactive experience, a hollow grandma, so to speak? While it's an interesting concept to think we're gonna bring you know, grandma back to life to sit with us at the Thanksgiving table, theoretically you could, but it would be a costly endeavor scripted and executed one time or every Thanksgiving with the same exact performance. David Deal is the director of marketing for AV Concepts, one of the leading immersive really tech companies. He says 3D hologram humans, like we see in the movies, don't really exist, at least not yet. But applications like immersive shopping experiences or holographic advertising within the realm of our 3D world are very much reality. As for grandma back from beyond and at the dinner table, this is South by Southwest, where the dreamers eventually make the impossible happen. The imagination of artists in our culture push us beyond the bounds of what technology says is possible. I think without dreaming in our own imagination, we'll be stuck in a box. But thinking outside the box eventually enables us to bust through it. And that's really the beauty of South by Southwest. Thousands of innovators with all the creativity in the world and the belief that anything is possible. I think these are the kind of folks most of us would like to hang out with all the time. Watch.